run it on everything, so we're good to go. Cool, good to go. Um, I'll give it a clap. You mean you're exactly to reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! It's a new untold story. A new untold story. It's a fresh fake untold story. That was a good clap. Uh, a new untold story, episode 359. 379. It is. I was shockingly close for not even knowing the first off, digit. 20 off, percentage wise, no. 379. We're here with Chris Bader, friend, comedian. You guys know him. Enjoy familiar face. Persian comic Chris Bader. Yeah, an, e- an EPC. Yeah, that's right. EPC. That I'm gonna change my yeah. I'm that that rolls. Name to EPC. It kind of. <laughs> it's almost too right? close to EDP. The pedophile fat man. Oh yeah. Philly fan. Wait, there was a guy named EDP. Who's Eat a that pussy. Yeah, he Eat was. Eat that a, pussy. F- some four. Mook, you can tell. Who, us. Yeah, what was he? Yeah, yeah let's <laughs> check him out. EDP. He's got caught four four five. Yeah, he's got caught three times trying to hook up with a child but it's the youtube guys that catch pedophiles that are just like all right you got to get out of here instead of arresting them but he's an eagles but, fan yeah oh big time oh that's yeah. his th- that's how he got yeah that yeah. well that's not his main thing now it's trying to sleep After with children lost. no mm-hmm. those youtubers that try to catch pedophiles aren't really heroes they just no, do it for views and then weird. set them loose yeah so the, yeah the that's like catching a piranha in a kiddie pool and letting it go it's like catching a pedophile in a kiddie pool and letting <laughs> yeah. it go, I guess. <laughs> they're, they're like, I, I'm not going to call the cops. I just want to talk. Yeah. Like, I'm going to, yeah. They're like, I'm going to role play as a 10 year old, horny 10 year old, f- as my job. But they just set them loose. They're just <laughs> doing it for, though. they're just yeah. doing it for views. It's like sport fishing. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But extreme. It's letting, yeah. It's also a lot of work because you have to be like on TikTok, on Snapchat, like yeah. any emerging platform to get your job correct. I think there's a chance you turn into a pedophile if you act enough like a child online. That's for what too they long. do. They are just pl- they are they are role playing as a pedophile. I think there are pedophiles. They're just in the closet. Oh, there de- definitely are. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Closeted pedoph- ITC, mm-hmm. and then they get off by acting like a kid. But I, I guess it's better than the alternative. Yeah, yeah. I'm significantly, what episode number is this guy? It's three seventy nine. <laughs> it's the largest street legal model of the Peter built semi truck. Oh, cool, man. Only thing I have. That's all you got? Yeah. Th- I mean, it's a rare number. Three fifty nine. Three seventy nine. Three seventy nine. Who is there anybody that's weighed three hundred and seventy nine? No, certainly no one yes. ever Nobody's weighed. ever weighed three seventy nine. That's, that's the Peter a big, bill? That's a big bitch. Yeah. Is, is that the biggest bitch you can have on the road? <laughs> that is the biggest highway. How much does one cost? Can we do a GoFundMe and we buy one and put it in the studio? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I want one. Uh, yeah, I want a full size three fifty seventy nine Peterbilt. You could fit a lot of kids in the back of that. Too. Definitely yeah. could. Mm-hmm. You definitely. How much are they going for? Like 45 grand? Anywhere from 28 to 50. We should get one. That's not that bad. Honestly, for, that's way less than I thought. For like an engine that size and what it would take to build it? Yeah. So big. Yeah, but then you got to store it. That's we, true. We have parking. a studio. Yeah, we could just mm-hmm. put it in here. You can't valet yeah. that. We do need something. We need. I want to keep filling this room up to where like we're hoarders, which is pretty close. It's a Rudy, I'm glad you liked your Christmas gift. I'm working on it. I like it as an end table. It is cool. What was your Christmas gift, Rudy? This fish tank right here. And... Do you have the fish yet? Or no, no, I hope as not. You, as you can tell, no. <laughs> it's empty and on how its many, side. How many days are you going to look at it and just I could decide? see me fucking up the order of operations. And getting the fish first. And then realizing. And putting it, it on your counter before yeah. the tank. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, I need to get water. Yeah. yeah. There's no way I would be able to do anything with that tank. No, yes, you could. No, I mean, like, I, I have Ditto, a brother. lot of gifts that are unopened like that because I get anxiety from just trying to. This is an intimidating gift. Very, very much so. Um. I tried to write a news segment. I lost my touch completely. You ready for the worst yeah, joke I ever? I woke up at seven trying to do uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I couldn't do it. You uh, go. Uh, as everybody knows, Erica is stepping... Uh, <laughs> see? As everybody knows, our boss, Erica, is stepping down as CEO. I've seen people saying she's crazy for that. Crazy? They must be confused. Crazy? She's CEO, not C-E-Low. <laughs> Green. 
<laughs> See? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That is good. Thanks, man. That oh is good. With a Grammy this year, Elton John has joined the EGOT Club. By far the best acronym a gay man can receive. <laughs> AIDS. <laughs> um, um, let's see. France has its first openly gay prime minister. Wow, a gay Frenchman. Who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> and then I just have that India is like remaking U.S. movies, but they also have their own superheroes now too. And so I, uh, I just have Indian Joker question mark. <laughs> Guys, that would be funny. <laughs> Wait, are you familiar? Yeah, well, I, I am part of the Brown Federation, but I'm not familiar with what they're trying to do. They're with remaking it. hits of like American. So like what? So like a, like Indian Tony Stark. Yes, yes, <laughs> like Indian Tony Stark. Like I'm gonna save the world. So I have just like <laughs> they need to get into my rocket. They need <laughs> they need to redo the movie It and just call it It. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also uh, punch me in the face if this is bad. Uh, Andy Dufresne wouldn't have had to change clothes after coming out of that pipe. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, <laughs> in Shawshank Redemption, um, <laughs> that's. And then I just again have Indian Joker or Indian Superman would be an absolute menace to women with X-ray vision. Oh, Indian, Indian Superman would he be. Would, he would be a villain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because um, it would it, ha it would have to be like an out of shape Indian Superman, like jet black mm -hmm. hair, slicked back. Almost he, he would just be looking at boobs. Yes, mm -hmm. the whole time. Yeah, yeah. he He's would like, be the biggest villain. Look at my vision. <laughs> it's just like the capes flying. Yeah. So just... I've had these the, the Indian cinema, the yeah. ICU. It's which, the uh, where There are also a I lot like of Indians this. there as doctors, but um, <laughs> <laughs> <there's> like, <laughs> hey, they are engineers as well. Wait, um, oh, hey. what what do you think they'd call seven if it was redone in India? <laughs> Would they add another number? Oh. <laughs> What's in the box? Like uh, Slurpees? Seven <laughs> Eleven uh, would be the sequel. Yeah, yeah. It would be the sequel, dude. <laughs> Part two. Uh, Big Mama's House 4.0. <laughs> it's homework time. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, they're redoing classics. 4.0 4 GPA. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kumar and Kumar <laughs> go to white girls Instagram comments. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. They need to remake Harold and Kumar. It's just Kumar and Kumar. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. But so I was doing some research. Have you guys seen the trailer for for Indian Forest Gump? Oh, no, of come on. Wait, that's yeah. real? Yes. Wait, shot for shot. It, yes. That is they did so Indian good. Forest Gump. And I, I didn't see it. But, but is this Bollywood or a different? It's Bollywood. G League. But they're like redoing it. Lal Singh Chada. Pakistan? That's G League India. G League India is Pakistan. But like here, yeah. just. Do they replace like all his achievements? It's all the same. Oh, but it's I'm just. Khan. I'm pissed because in the trailer it doesn't have uh, Bubba. But I, like he was just like, we got hot curry, we got bar, we got chicken curry. I'm praying he plays Ooh. for the Sooners in this movie. <laughs> I don't need the subtitles, by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just shot for shot, Forrest Gump, but like over the top, Bollywood. <laughs> Fast forward to the mom getting fuck scene. Yeah. <laughs> Do they give her AIDS? Does he show his ass to the president of the United States? Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> Ron yes. Lala. That was the night before the mom got fucked by the principal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Wait, go back to the track scene. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the straight face track. Reminds runner. me of high school wrestling. <laughs> There's Lieutenant Lieutenant Sanjay. <laughs> he's, an over, he's an overall. Oh no, he has his books. He has books. That guy could be perfect. Oh no, he does not have books. Yeah, he's dressed he like a minion. He's running oh, with he, books. He has, I'm telling you, that Indian boy has way more grit than Forrest ever did. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's the next Indian Obama. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, Rupa is the one that gives him AIDS. Oh. 
Oh, oh no. Where's Bubba? Oh, he's coming. There he is running. Oh, it's so not going to be shrimp. It's going to be like vegetarian. It's curry. Yeah. Oh, it's just all curry. <laughs> this is going to be paneer. <laughs> <laughs> Fried paneer. There's all kinds of paneer. <laughs> Boiled paneer. <laughs> there he is. There, there's sandwich. Bubba. Oh, and man. are they fighting terrorists? Yeah, it looks like but it. But he still plays ping pong. See, they they were never terrorists, so they are fighting them. Look at this. There's no way that many people in India had shoes. Life is like a Golgapa. <laughs> No, no. Your tummy might feel full, but your heart always craves more. I have to agree. Life's like a Golgapa. <laughs> and so I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for just Indian movies, Indian remakes of movies. The best if is- Beale Street could talk, yeah, there's human shit all over me. <laughs> Another, st- what's an Indian street? Panny Purry? No, Golgapa is potato, chickpeas, onions. So it's yeah, not vegetarian. Even, not that even sounds close amazing. to chocolate. They could have just yeah. gone with chocolate. Yeah, there wasn't any shrimp in there, though. Like, what was the replacement for shrimp? Curry. You tell me. That's just a powder, guys. Yeah, yeah shit. Yeah, you gotta to tell a- me. You gotta tell us. <laughs> What's Indian shrimp? So what is, in, like, the scheme of stereotypes, Iran is, like, a, a more... <laughs> a really good segue. A more uppity India? Well... Guys, it's not India. Sorry. First of all, I want to. Thank, I apologize. I want to thank Kyle for saying it correctly. It's Iran, mm-hmm. not Iran. No one mm-hmm. ran anywhere. Well, uh, yeah. Forrest clearly did in the Indian. Sure movie. did. Yeah, that was that was the Iran. It's um, Iran. You're Persian and you speak Farsi, dude. And you have, have you a been reading my bio. Were you reading my Wikipedia? You don't have a Wikipedia. I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a Bubba. Yeah, you uh, do. We, a lot of us have Bubba. Bubba is just a, a papa. That scene was my a Bubba. Um, What's okay. a Bubba? Bubba is a... a I'm yeah. confused with the Forrest Gump. Is it a mentally challenged veteran? Baba is what a... a <laughs> it's, you guys it, yeah, typically call Middle Eastern. Oh, and, so it'll be Greece. Baba Gump. Bubba. Bubba <laughs> it's spelled B-A-B-A. Or B-A-B-A. Baba, Baba Gump. Baba Iran. <laughs> Oftentimes, yeah. with women, I say, who's your Baba? But mm-hmm. Baba is... Yeah, Baba is Daddy. what we call our dad. Okay. Gotcha. So Iran is Persian. So we, not uppity. We just... We're part of the Middle East, but we are its only race, and we think that we're superior. Oh. Like we you think, think we invented, you're superior. Yes. We think that we invented algebra. We think that our cologne's better than yours. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're, you're, pr- more, you're, your a, you're an attractive bunch. Oh, wow. Certainly thanks. are. Yeah. Let true. me know if you want to meet in the parking lot after. Yeah, yeah. The, certainly the are. women, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the men, too. Mm-hmm. Men, too. Men a lot too. of waxing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are there are attractive people for sure. Mm-hmm. But, a lot uh, of laser hair, yeah. A lot of laser hair removal. Um, I haven't done any of that clearly, but uh, yeah. The, are the the women are hairy? Are they hairy? But I think they're they're on top of the laser hair, right? What yeah, are the Kardashians? No they're a hairy mustache. people. She had it when we were younger. They're really s- heavily Jason. Yeah. Uni- well, it was, it was just like Rudy's, just like Rudy's. Oh, okay, that's subtle. seventh grade exactly like Rudy's but. sister's mustache. It was mm-hmm. creeping up a little bit, kind of cute. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was younger, and she got mm-hmm. she got rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Permanently. Permanently. Yeah. That's good. I haven't seen it come out in a while, about twenty years. Maybe she can let it go. She can let it go. You have any uh, Iran facts? Iran facts. Iran is the. Um, if you yeah. look out where my name, is, my last name is most popular. It's Iran. Terrain. Oh, actually, can you look up the? Oh, that's Iran. That's the, the Iranian national anthem. Mine's the Congo. From really? The 70s. Yeah, like no. Janda is I popular look- in the Congo. It's a, it's a, it's incorrect. The Congo sounds way more fun than it actually would be country wise. <laughs> yeah, with the line with the line. Yeah. Yeah. Congo. I'm going to the Congo. Yeah, you're right. And it would be the least fun, maybe. Pro- it's up maybe there. the least. So this is the Persian national anthem before the Islamic Republic took it over. Why would a lion need a sword? It's fighter. Mm. Oh, snare drum. This, I think this is in RuneScape. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. B- b- can you play the RuneScape main town theme? Yeah, that... that, that. <laughs> and, and to be fair, you, you Iran- your nation stole this from, from RuneScape. RuneScape. Not, it, yeah, play know. the RuneScape theme. More than likely. I've been really good at clapping today. Yeah, you have, um, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. You hungry? Not yeah, right huh? Now. You are. Not Luckily, right you have... Hel- no, mm-hmm. you're not? Not right now. Why? <laughs> 
I guess we went different yeah. routes here. Yeah. I was playing. I was thinking you'd play the hungry guy. Okay. And I would recommend it. Okay. I'm I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Or no, yeah. I think it would be better if you're full and satisfied and firing on all uh, yeah, cylinders. I'm full and satisfied. Oh, Kyle, my top, my stomach's empty and I can't think right now. Oh, so yes, I have something for you. Mm. Or you could just be like, I'm full because okay, okay. Yeah. we're too. Bad. Oh, oh bad dude, gone. did you hear my stomach grumble? Oh, I'm full. <laughs> Uh, by the way, yeah, and whether your resolution is to save money, eat better, or stress less, I, that's a new one. HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Say hello to your most. This is the most delicious <laughs> year. This mm. is the most delicious. My resolution year. was to have my most delicious year yeah. yet mm -hmm. with less wasted food. And the easiest way to solve that resolution for me. is fresh ingredients delivered straight to your door. Mm -hmm. a Butter not squash of options. Pork chop. Healthy, but De delectable. Delectable. Mm. Delectable. Tasty. Fresh. Savory. Easy. Etc. Uh, and you guys can go to HelloFresh.com slash anus free and use code anus free. For, that's a new one. For free yeah. breakfast for life. Don't let recipe boredom. I was going to say that's ridiculous. Don't let recipe boredom strike, but it's a real thing. People mm -hmm. are getting food fatigue. That's a new trend. People yeah. Like I'm so bored with all of like these very similar. Uh, how many options. people have the same meal every day? Boring. Something similar. Bah. It's like the same P type of ingredients just mixed in different that's ways. That's free breakfast for Not life at HelloFresh.com Hello slash anus free free uh -huh. code. Anus free. Anus free code anus free. Free breakfast for life. Uh, so that is a one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. So you get the box, you get breakfast with it free. Yeah, play that. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Yeah. Very yeah, this is the, the Iranian, Iranian theme that, yeah. song is the mm -hmm. they stole it from you, you outed, us. You, outed us, you outed the whole Persian <laughs> civilization. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Shouldn't you be standing right now? <laughs> Dude, yeah, Iranians couldn't play RuneScape because they had to stand every time they were in this town. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what else you got going on? You and Mook have a Valentine's Day show. I just saw the promo for that. Yeah, it's scary, dude. Why is that scary? I think it's, I think it's we sad that you're it, not banking a, on doing anything on Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm all set, yeah. yeah. I told you, straight dudes. Yeah, the flyer basically says, you're my baby. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. They're doing it's a, a Valentine's Day Mike show Mook together. Mook didn't like the flyer, so I didn't want to show you guys. But mm -hmm. he, because I made it, and it's Mook's a baby, and I'm a woman holding him. Oh, it's, it's, it's good promo. It's very yeah. off putting. It's Zany's it's whole like town. Like you're, you're not banking on a date for Valentine's Day. No, we're gonna get one. That's at a the bad. Show. That's a bad date night unless you have a girlfriend. Okay. That's a, that's like a lot. I had a rough date night last night. What? 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 what she decided. Uh, like course. <laughs> rough. This is someone that you're seeing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Girlfriend. <laughs> partner. Um, they. Oh, that's what I was too. Wanted yes, to make pizzas instead of going out to eat because I always get shit on. You don't have any food in the house. You don't know how to cook. Um, not oh, shit on, but I yeah, guess, you, you know. You don't get shit on. I don't get yeah. shit on. But uh, I was like, all right, let's make pizzas. And she was like, if you learn how to cook, you'll save so much money. Went to the mm -hmm. grocery store, spent an hour in there to buy the ingredients to make dough. And then had to go get to the deli and get pepperoni sliced. <laughs> and then had to get cheese and marinara sauces and... Then we had to go back and make it all. Well, first of all, yeah, thank God we went and got the ingredients instead of buying a pizza because it was only $115. Well, it was like a, a personal challenge? No, no, it was a fun... take the uh, longest uh, amount of time? No, no. How much did you do? Do? This, was done for, this was slice? done for convenience. You didn't buy pre-sliced pepperoni? This was done for convenience. You bought a hunk of pepperoni? No, I, I went to the deli and I said, this thin sliced pepperoni. Okay. Uh, the crust had to go... But it was we didn't buy pre-made dough. We had to make... We got flour, yeast... Everything you didn't go gluten free. I did. He had to. I have to. Yeah. And so then that had to wait for 20 minutes for it to rise. All the ingredients were $115. And then the pizza was bad. And then we ended up ordering food. What type of pizza? Was it a flatbread? Was it a all pizza French is French bread? A, um, was it a thick crust? No, was no. It was a it was square it? with mozzarella and pepperoni. <laughs> Sounds like a lunchable. I know. And it was $115. Oh, oh it sucked. Man. Uh, Mine was inedible. We did two separate pizzas as a competition. <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up ordering food. Yeah. How was the food? And my order? apartment is so good. And we got there so fast and way cheaper. And I just threw away the containers when I was done. So don't let anybody convince you. 
to like do you do that's you, like a, a known everybody always says tale. if you do groceries I've if you, never it's always been more money to do groceries and what less food and then you end up wasting so much uh -huh. of it too now I have three jars of fucking marinara sauce in the fridge it was a fun night though I you played, had fun I played I, there was a there's a pizza making playlist I found on Spotify I was shaking my ass oh making her laugh yeah what's on that playlist when the moon hits your and then it ended up with like uh, yeah that on loop uh, <laughs> you know it was it was a good it was a good experience bad meal yeah i mean i guess life you gotta start doing shit like that we got three months of nothing yeah yeah there's some dark days ahead yeah i know it was yeah, yeah. they didn't they didn't warn us correctly mm -hmm. they didn't warn us correctly i didn't i wore like sweats out and then the negative 18 degree wind hit my dickhead it cut right through and then like I had to pee oh, no. and then the hot pee with the cold dickhead was it hurts hot, so, yeah, hot yeah. pee cold dickhead mm -hmm. bad combo mm -hmm. bad combo what are you going to do though what, what about you what do you got going on me I gave up kush what um, really is, uh, you just brought gifts of kush oh, you brought sorry? kush I I'm, I'm, I'm not it's not it's kush. not a, it's an endeavor it's not a permanent thing I'll oh. get back on the kush I did 71 day Oh, that was our lightsaber was that our powered lightsaber. off automatically. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I, fi I figured that was <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did 71 straight days of Kush. It goes by fast. And the last three nights were in were cold sweat nights. Oh, so you were yeah. in it. Yeah. Full withdrawals. I guess. I mean, it's just sweating at night. I can handle some withdrawals. Well, I actually, I got you some balm. Because I know you Ooh. you like to exercise, and so some of the it's not necessarily all Kush. It's a balm that's more CBD than the Kush. The balm. Yeah, I think you could rub the balm on yourself. Okay, to get high. Rub it on the soles of your feet and whatever's sore. If your heart's okay. sore, Thank like you, yeah, Mook, like his that. heart might be sore during Valentine's Day. You just rub it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mook's gonna get wifed up. I think Mook is gonna have the first kid out of all of us. No, yep. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's Definitely crazy. is my time. Mm -hmm. that, you're banking on a mistake. What? Listen, man, I think you would be the first one. Right. I'm putting that out there. I don't like that you're putting that out. And there. it's going to be triplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What would what would that do to your life? <laughs> Derail everything. And I, I, if I had a girl, I know she'd be a little slut. I, I just already. Did she cheat on you? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, your daughter? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought he's talking. I thought the same thing. Yeah. Like if I had a wife, she'd cheat on me. That too, probably. <laughs> that little whore. Yeah. His wife's already whore. I Mook, know, I know Mook knows already be, his wife's going to cheat on him. Yeah, my wife's going to cheat on me. My kid's going to be horny as hell. It's going to be... That's why I'm... I'm Triplet I'm daughter's solo. cheating wife. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's yeah. brutal. When I was visiting homes with uh, doing my old job, I, there was um, one triplet's... One set of triplets on my caseload and one set of quads on my caseload. Quads? Yeah, it happens. That's rare. No yeah. way. Do they look the same? I mean, they're babies. So yeah. Did you look in the crib? Did I look in the crib? <laughs> well, the four babies. They said there was four babies. Is there four? Yeah, how do you split up? You, you have four cribs, right? That's like a litter, dude. Yeah, it's... Yeah, and... um. That's just a... Di that's a, You reset your life. It's like you... That's a different life after that. That's four, a profession. Four kids. Yeah. That's four a profession. Kids at once? Yeah, that's you a profession. You need help. You can't do it. That's four clones, dude. That's fucked. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that... <sighs> the vagina can take a lot of abuse. Yeah. Is I agree. Mm -hmm. Is there any... I agree. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Is there any recovery from that? <sighs> yeah, uh, four in a row? I'm going to say yes, because I'm an optimist. All right, Rudy. I Sing don't Is you a single man? Yeah. If there is a mother, single mother... Of four out there, reach out. Rudy will fuck you, <laughs> and take care of the kids. Yeah, yeah. Because you're you'll, a caring guy. You'll Rudy. probably, you'll you probably are. knock her up. <laughs> if I gave my full effort, there is no way I would improve their lives one one bit. Really, just a father figure. Like if I tried my very hardest, it's not just. It's not. It'd be different if I was their dad. Then I have a chance. But that's all that matters. Dude, imagine you, me your you as a dad up. would be, the, the, the kids would have a better chance of being straight if they were raised fatherless. Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> the kind of odds I'm talking about. You're a, you're, future, <laughs> future gay father is a funny ass t-shirt to wear. <laughs> <laughs> future gay dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> FTG future yeah. gay dad shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a Father's Day special. There's no 
Now that's for the wait, babies wait, having a gay dad. What a future gay dad is. A future gay dad is a straight man who's going to have a gay son one day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of people on TikTok who they hold their baby and they say you're going to be a gay baby. Yeah. Oh, they want them, a lot of people. Yeah. Want their I kids figured to be that gay. was going on behind the scenes. They're they're, they're public about this. Yeah. Some some kids are coming out at six seven months. Yeah, I have some stories. I can't like reveal them yet, but are you? Is, yeah, it's a thing like, about kids, kids that you know. Young kids want a gay kid. Doing yeah, getting into it, getting into the letters. Yeah, moms want their kids yeah to be gay. Gay babies. Yeah, it's so. Does that mean that there's people you get, being like I mean, you're going to be a straight baby? I get it. Like, uh, you, okay. I know. Like you, Texas, no, no. As like, I think I definitely. I as think the parent, you get the that. attention. You don't have to do disgusting gay sex. It's just the kid that will be doing it. It's a win-win. You get the numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's balanced. Now, where does the Persian like culture, parenting culture, stand? Like, compare it to. Is it like comparable to Texas, to the Deep South? Well, it was yeah. Persian parents, you can't tell them that you're gay mm -hmm. because they're not going to accept you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you're um, telling a dad that's wearing yeah. eight gold necklaces. That <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 You better not be gay. Tiger emblem. Yeah, and the dad doesn't have a gun. He's the tightest a jeans ever. Yeah, yeah. a bunch of tight, <laughs> tight, a bunch tight of jeans, cheetos, gold necklaces, yeah. a pinky yeah. ring, yeah. Yeah. Bob's yeah. car in his glove department. You better not be gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After getting his chest waxed, the most yeah. groomed yeah. man in the world. Yeah, the most groomed eyebrows of all time. You better not be gay. My dad would get his clip. We get he go to the barber, but the barber would spend ten minutes on the front. In yeah. the space, I was like, Bubba, what's happening? And he'd just go like that. But, but yeah, Bubba told me, he's like, if you're gay, go away. <laughs> so, what if you're like a gay engineer? Ooh. Gay doctor, they would accept. Gay doctor. Gay doctor. Yeah. If you're a gay doctor or lawyer, they're like, okay. Doctor but, like, Trump's keep gay. It in the closet. Yeah, that doctor. sounds like an NBC show. The gay doctor. <laughs> the gay doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the gay Persian doctor. Yeah. Doctor GPD. Trump's gay. I got my GPD. <laughs> So if we went around and asked, if we were in the Middle East and we were asking parents, um, and we were asking parents, we'd rather you're, it's a gay son thought daughter. It's a gay doctor, straight, uh, non-doctor. <laughs> what would they take? Depends on their socioeconomic status. Okay. But some would take yeah. it. They'd like literally their son would take it, but they would take it. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. both taking it hard. Is yeah. there a tier of doctor where it falls off? So, yeah. You yeah. can't, I mean. You have to be a surgeon or something that like accepts the good insurance. Dentist. Nobody no. wants a doctor in El Paso that's like saving kids. <laughs> yeah. That's what about like funny. a radiologist? Yeah. Yeah, but I was. I mean, I had cousins who are radiologists, and they just sit in the basement all day, and then they basically it's like hanging out with Rain Man. So I have a middle. <laughs> I have a Middle Eastern dentist. It would is he is he even allowed to come home for the holidays? Or is that a failure? He just didn't make it all the way. Okay. But he can come home, yeah. He's yeah, a dentist, because okay. then, because then they'll say, okay, you should have a few clinics. Okay, franchise. You know, it's like the Indians in the Seven Eleven. It's like if you have a few, you got money. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, of gay Persians, though, your real name is Bawback. Yes, my name is Bawback Christopher. <laughs> that, um, you, you had the deck stacked against you, man. Yeah. Bawback, like a comma, Christopher, like. It was just B-A-U-B-A-K and then Christopher. That was your first, Christopher, the last name. Christopher, no, Bader was my last name. Mm -hmm. so oh, like, yeah. okay. It wasn't good. It was. So you grew up, you grew up in Chicago. I grew up in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. I was born here. I've never been to the Middle East, actually. <laughs> no, no way. Oh. But I'm speaking on their behalf. Wait, sure, yeah. I'm an ambassador. Can. We you haven't can. been either. No. Mm -mm. We should go for spring break. Okay. Syria. Dude, the Caspian Sea, like Iran has beautiful areas. It's, yeah, yeah, it's it very does. beautiful there. It does. We should go. I would. I actually legitimately. How would stand up translate there? Uh, you get killed. Really? Yeah, unless you're like very clean and you say like, you know, I love the mullahs. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Is there a scene there? Uh, I don't think there's a there's a scene of global terrorism, but I don't yeah. think there's a scene of <laughs> stand up comedy? No, not really. There's not a lot of freedom there. Damn. Damn. That sucks. They got to have funny guys, just like numbers wise. Dude, the, the more miserable yeah. you are, the funnier. Their population, you are. yeah, is huge. So yeah. they, they huge have population. some really funny they guys. They have a town called Cum with over a million people. <laughs> Cum, really? Cum, India? With a Q. I oh. Think. It's, it's one of the largest three levels. Well, they have a town called the Keish. On. There's Keish. Q O M. Like, <laughs> Do they have Cum? Over a million. Yeah, that's a cum. three letter city over a million. Cum. Yeah, uh, come on over is what the traveler's brochure says. Is that true? Yeah, I'm interested. I want to go to Com. To Dude, com. That looks actually beautiful. I want to come. That looks Dude, beautiful. Com. 
Ooh, you fez. Yeah, for such That's- a homophobic uh, place, calm. Every building looks like a dick, and um, the fashion. Fashion is great, and they make women cover up. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I think the more they make women cover up those countries, that like behind the scenes, people are really uncovered because yeah. you can really let mm-hmm. go of your inhibitions. And probably, yeah. The, the, There's a lot of underground uh, parties where like kids are like partying. That's hard. good. Yeah. I think the sex would be a lot better in cover up cultures. It's mostly anal there. Okay. Because you don't want to lose your right identity. On. Right on. So, this but- is the gayest place on earth. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Well, yeah. the Greeks and the Persians, if you remember, yeah, they fuck Alexander. At. If you watch that, like yeah. they were, is a lot of from the back, mm-hmm. from the back. A lot of American wrestlers envy Iranians because they are like the LeBron Jameses. The yeah, Kevin they're excellent Durant. at wrestling, wrestling but and no, weightlifting. They're excellent, but they're lauded as superstar celebrities. They're like a list celebrities. There. Yes, they're like yes. yeah, that in soccer, but more so the wrestlers. The wrestling, wow. huge respect. Is that yeah. the number one? Yes, Donnie. Yes, Donnie. Yes, Donnie. Yes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's that? Yes. Uh, See, y- yes, Donnie Hassan Yasdani. <laughs> He's a. Yeah. Is he a legend? I mean, our guy David Taylor got got gets the best of him. Oh, he is the most wrestler looking wrestler. Yeah, yeah and, he's a um, They actually put one to death. Yeah, that was sad. Actually, that was fucked up. Yeah, that was fucking terrible. Uh-huh. Not great. They accused him of a uh, something he didn't do. Well, he's yeah. sticking up for the women. That's, oh. that's why I can't really so? go there because of the videos I made. But yeah, he's sticking <laughs> up for the women. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It'd be awesome to go there and like eat and then watch KB like wrestle with everybody. I'll, I'll watch the video. Oh my God. I get, um, I get tortured. Uh, in, I don't want to look legal that up. recreational wrestling. Yeah. No, let's stop shitting on it. Let's talk about the good, the food, the cuisine. Well, the food, the culture, like honestly, like the, it's a, it's a great upbringing. Your family, you have like 15 cousins and they're, you guys are all like brothers and sisters. Yeah. They mm. all moved here in the seventies pre-revolution. We're very pro like freedom and everything like and that. That's why we're, yeah. that's why my parents came here. Cause they're like, and oh. everyone is way more secular than you think. Like nobody's really religious. It's, it's just about, forced on. The more you yeah. force shit on people, the more, the, the like, less they right. want it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I get that. Um, like Some, you were forced to make pizzas. I, I wasn't Probably forced. Did. I did it on my own will. I'm, oh. I thought it would be fun too. Yeah, save yourself. No, I, I'm not. I, th- I thought it'd be fun too. And I even put the sauce on my nose. I was like, is there anything on my face? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Is, I wish your, I uh, is your girlfriend comedy the same as your with the boys comedy? Or do you? Uh, Hell yeah, no. I feel like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um. No. <laughs> no. I just, I'm just i waiting to see how much truth you tell. No. And you're telling the truth. But this Whatever. is 100% true, the whole podcast. Yeah, everything. This yeah. is my real personality. This isn't a, an act. Um, no. Will you, will, you, will, you like, will you sing in front of her seriously? Not seriously, no. Okay. Once. Yeah, once. But that we were in the car and it was Third Eye Blind. I can't, I've never heard, I've never seen you sing in front of me. You've probably never seen me do something seriously. Maybe not. Are you a singer, Nick? Like no, you, no. I've never seen him break out into song. <laughs> not break out. No, it's not. A, What's your favorite song? You like well, heavy metal. I, I like like he, like metal music. And like the Sandman. Enter Sandman. Yeah. Or like Adam Sandler. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Eight crazy night. Yeah. Um. Uh. Neither. I don't really like Metallica that much. Just like only newer, heavy metal. Like, I like punk rock and hardcore music. And she doesn't at all, but I, Third Eye Blind had me in a good mood driving back from I a love dinner. Third Eye Blind. Yeah. Green Day or no? I liked Green Day growing up for sure, but not, not too much anymore. So yeah, we don't really have music crossover. I don't really have music crossover with anybody. No one. And neither do you really. Yeah, I do. I'm Kyle, like, what's your music? I like, um, I like dance music, house music. But you don't oh, really? dance. Okay. Veronica. I even like hyperpop, like Brickens. <laughs> Do you really? I, it's it's either it's either the worst thing I've ever heard or like ah, oh, it's addictively good. Barry Keoghan improved the scene of him fucking the grave. Found that out. Really? Yep. That was imp- all he was supposed to do was rip off his shirt and lay on the tombstone. He whipped out his dick and fucked the ground. And was that could be good? I mean, good imagine act. being on set and then just like thinking the scene's over. He improvised fucking the grave without telling anybody. Do you think they clapped? I don't know, man. What do you do on set? 
So he's just like a weirdo. Yeah. That's because smart. they're like, rip smart. off your shirt and Some, cry. I, can, I knew. Have you seen Saltburn? No. Go. He well, he fucks a grave. That's smart though. He I makes f- a pussy in the grave, or maybe an asshole because he's fucking a guy. Mm-hmm. That, or or a mouth. There's a difference. Yeah. He digs out a little man ass and he fucks it. I wanted to see what Oliver would do next. I wanted to see what the next level of obsession was. D- no, dude. dude that's a written fictional movie. Right. You there's no, he's not a real no. man. That, that tells me a lot about him. Rip off the yeah. shirt and scream and lay on the grave. He pulled out, he got hard in his head. Yeah. Pulled yeah, out his dick it. while they were rolling. I think it would be funnier to not be on set that day. Just like, he did what? <laughs> that's like something yeah. Jared Leto would do it off camera. Yes. He would be fucking yeah, yeah. graves prepping for like a role where he wouldn't have to fuck and graves. And he would like vacuum the dirt and then send it to everyone on set. Jared Leto's like 60. Yeah, he's got some Is crazy he, shit. Who's going older, on. him or Depp? Uh, no, J- Jared Leto is. Uh, Jared Leto 51. is shockingly old. He's 51, I bet. 52. Uh, that's older than yeah, I thought. He looks yeah, good for He looks great. Johnny Depp's got to be 60. Cool. 60. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. Not bad at all. How do they look like that with like the hard drugs they do? Um, I think they do equally. I don't know hard, if he looks great. I think they do hard surgery. Johnny yes. Depp does not look great. No, he looks weathered. More. Yeah, Brad Pitt looks really good, and he was like an alky for a long time. Yeah, but he wasn't. A, I don't think he was a drug guy. I think if you look weird enough, it can be construed <laughs> as hot. Yeah, I got to do that. He looks like a like a Orlando Bloom with an old filter on right there. Does um, you can't tell me. Does, that. No, he looks like. That's Orlando. He doesn't look like a movie star. That's for sure. He went through some shit though. Johnny Depp. He wears it on his face. Women. Yeah. She pooped on his bed. That that picture was so funny. We're the least topical podcast of all time. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. Better on his bed than on him. Um, I don't know, man. I think poop would come off easy, off my body. I wouldn't have to get new sheets. I'd rather be shit on than my bed get shit on. I had a sheet incident. I had a sheet incident last night. I was going to last night. I was going to tell you guys about. What you, what you do? It's a, a massive event. You I, shit the bed. I'm, I'm officially like fat. What? I my I woke up this morning. Oh my god! I was wait, I was waiting for you to say it. My <laughs> sheets were torn. Woke up this morning. There was a hole in my sheets. sheets I sleep torn. on my back. It's the exact same size as my back. Just a hole in my sheets. You're so fat. You ripped your sheets sleeping. Yeah, without moving. Is that a fat thing? No, that's a fat thing. I don't know if that, that makes yeah. sense. Maybe what? you have a twin fitted sheet on a full bed. How how did you yeah I don't yeah. know how no that I think it's happened. a fat thing how much you weigh now? yeah that's a fat thing and then today I was like going through that I was like is that a fat thing is that not a fat thing Nick was there I had my feet on a file cabinet that was like thirty pounds and they're built like a Lego I tipped it over with he this. knocked over a file cabinet which is one of the most <laughs> secure to the ground things ever <laughs> and then that sort of yeah you should get it. your life in order yeah but mm-hmm. I talked about this on the yak Ozempic's destroying <sighs> Ozempic's destroying thickums. True. Hey, think of elite milk. The most elite milk in Hollywood is who? Elite milk in Hollywood? Yeah. Christina Hendricks. No, she is, but I think similar. Same that's vein. Whole, that's whole milk. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is that is heavy cream. That's damn near a milkshake. Yeah. Um Sarah oh, Snook is two percent. Been out of the milk game. It's Chastain. Oh, is Chastain's it? number one used to be number one milk. Look at her now, dude. Look at her uh as of yesterday. There's an argument to be made for sure. You think it's a Zempic? No, look at her. Yes. Yes. Oh, don't go to her. I don't know if her, she's going to post on her Instagram uh, unflattering photo. Just search her at the Golden Globes. Was that yesterday or the Emmys or something? Golden Globes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Unrecognizable. I get it, though. She's hot 40 plus. She's been like the, a thick superstar forever. <laughs> she probably wanted to like a go, new me. Let me be a skinny girl. Okay. Yeah. I'm, see and, and Adele. Have you seen Adele, Adele lately? Adele can, yeah, she does, yeah, of course. Yeah. But do you think she still has the pipes? Yeah. She lost her voice? I don't know. I don't know if, like, when you're, he- when you're heavy, when you're not as skinny as she is, like, think of opera singers. Like Jonah Hill? Yeah. Jonah Hill probably can't sing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm pro or anti. Ozempic? Yeah. What about that, that one model mm. who is larger but very pretty face? From mm. like three or four years ago. Yeah, I know who she you're like talking was on about. Everything. The sports is Illustrated. She the same, yeah, she's still the same size. I can't remember her name. I can't remember her either. Shoot, she's the plus, the like the the plus headline size, plus yeah. size model. 
Game time, Kyle. Sorry to interrupt the episode, but got to keep the lights on somehow. Mm -hmm. And thank God game time's here to help us out with that. You guys know what it is. We've spoken about it time and time again. We've praised it time and time again. It's game time, the app for your cell phone. And now you need it. It's you got the post holiday malaise. It's you probably have Christmas money to spend too. Yeah, you got extra money to spend. Go to an arena, Mm -hmm. plan it, take your friends, take a loved one, Mm -hmm. take a girlfriend, take a boyfriend, take a family member, Mm -hmm. and have yourself an unforgettable night. Yes. Go see something. Takes 20 seconds. See your favorite artists. See your favorite comics. See somebody who's entertaining. You need to do this or your life will fly by. The praise you'll get for 20 seconds of work, like, hey, I have tickets to this tonight, is worth every Mm -hmm. penny. Um, yeah, last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals. It's the best. We use it all the time. Genuinely. I used to go to the Bulls. I used to go to the Blackhawks. Um, it was great. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event. And even an hour after the event starts, that's when they're dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. They already kind of are. Uh, It's the place to find last minute seats, find exclusive flash deals, sponsored tickets for football, basketball, baseball shows. You know, it. uh, Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, app, create an account, use code UNTOLD, U N T O L D, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account and redeem code UNTOLD for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. $20 off. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Your husband's staying in my pocket. <laughs> That was good, huh? That wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, game time. Yep. Use it. What's oh, her name? Yeah, I think that. No, 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 no. It's no. the. It's the. No, she's in there. Somewhere. That one. That one. Her? Yeah, I think it's her. I think it's her. No. 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 She looks Iranian. You mean new? My cousin, dude. <laughs> Is that her? That's got to be think her. That's her. Ashley, Ashley Graham. Ashley, yeah, Ashley Graham. Yes. If she does Olympic, it's over. We we need to cancel everything. She could never, though. Well, yeah, that, she'd be destroying. she's known for that. Yeah. Oh wow, she's proud. Um, and she she, should she be, looks dude. good. Oh my mm. god, yeah. Yeah, I would let her lay on top of me. Uh, yeah, that's cool. No, I like her. Well, Not a crush. We, I don't have a crush. Sort of, you sort of switched up your take all of a sudden. On Ozempic? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I think it, that is and that Ashley and, Graham. That and buccal fat, and I'll be I'll be the same. Uh, I'll be equal genders. Go to Liam from One Direction. He got his buccal fat done. Looks ridiculous. Yeah. We're a pop culture podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> you look up Odell Beckham. You've brought Yeah, this- look at his face now. That doesn't look human. It's his lips. It's his everything. He doesn't look he looks like a Hunger Games uh judge. Nick brought this up to me off camera months ago. He just came up to me and said, Did you hear about did you see Liam? Yeah, look at what he did to himself. He's doing a lot of the kissy face. Cute, no, he can't help he can't. that. Yeah, he built he he got body mods. He does KB reflection face everywhere <laughs> oh, naturally. No, he's doing the strings. Oh, you can do these strings. Look in at your that. Face. How is that? He's doing the string, the surgery. Oh, is he adding that? Yeah, you can do these. I like, thought he was sucking this. It, like and a thread adding, sewed really? in to make you have like this jawline. He looks like a Mazda. Yeah, he does actually. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a Mazda six. <laughs> Yeah. Speed, <laughs> Rudy, you're right. Yeah, he wow. does. Holy shit! <laughs> he looks just just like a monster. <laughs> you got a body kit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, he looks like a Mazda. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's him in the front. Good pool, Rudy. <laughs> god damn. Does. One of us should get it. I kind of want it. We should, yeah. Ozempic or the uh, no, I want, I want I want that. Yeah, I want fake jaw, so I can oh. shave my beard. If it's reversible, I would try it. I don't know how that works. I think they just put something in right here. Oh yeah, I knew that. But like, I, knew I would that. mod the fuck out of myself if I could. Body really? mods, I think, are gonna be the, the way of like going forward. But like, not just like jaw lines and shit like that. Like cool stuff. I'm surprised you don't have an eyebrow stud yet. I can't. I don't. I've, I've, my eyebrows aren't thick enough. Mm-hmm. I can lend you some. <laughs> you would look fucking tight yeah. with one, dude. You would actually look. You would actually look tough with one, Chris. I'm dead serious. Mook, I would love to have you have an eyebrow stud. I love having. I don't know. Mook they have... might put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> it might just be like up on your forehead because they couldn't find the eyebrow, yeah. dude. Can you please go get a too high eyebrow stud because he couldn't yeah, find yeah, it? Just right up here. <laughs> or just the black eyebrows. You know how all the girls are getting like. That, oh that yeah, where they like. If they feather it where it's like really thick. Do you remember really? Mook had black eyebrows. Do you remember when really, really thin eyebrows were hot? 
Yeah, I was one of the culprits. You you would get them waxed? Like oh, thin? so oh. thin that it was like, I was like one of the Jersey Shore guys. It was just like a mm -hmm. thread. And yeah. my mom had to talk to me about it. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know it was amongst <laughs> men. I did not either. Yeah. Yeah. I just kind of jumped in on that one. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that was a... No, I don't think women will ever look like they did in the late 2000s again. Brooke no. Shields? That was just odd. It was like... Mm -hmm. Real, 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 real thin eyebrows, like a hair width. It looked like a beer pong game. The women did? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. You can search like tw 2000. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what Just to search. search. Andre Agassi's girlfriends from the 90s. Yeah. No, that's a reg. That's a. Nah, shit. I guess not. Yeah, that, no, I, I, I see what about. you mean. It's I mean, Brittany it's Murphy right there. Evolution in the trendy taste. Yeah. I loved her. Yeah, Brittany Murphy ruled. What celeb death were you the most sad about? Robin Williams. Yeah? Yeah. No, that was tough. Um, who were some bad ones? Mac Miller? Mac was really bad. Yeah. yeah, Mac was like the only one I was remember being like, damn, that fucking blows. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. My dad was cut up about Farley. Was he? Yeah. Farley. Amy Winehouse. You Amy fought? Winehouse. I remember I was, I was in an I apartment. Was ready for that? Yeah, uh, yeah I was prepped. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, I remember prepped me. Kyle wrote it was 2011. Like, yeah. I think it was 2011 or 12. Kyle texted me. He's like, "Hey, man, Amy doesn't look too good." <laughs> yeah, I was prepped for that. <laughs> Kobe rocked people. Oh yeah, that was on Kyle's birthday. And then you moved your birthday. You lied to people when your birthday was, so you wouldn't have so people would go out. <laughs> did that? Didn't Kobe die no on your birthday? Yeah, you did. He, did on my, he died on my birthday on a Sunday, and I was at a bar drinking alone, hair of the dogging it, just miserable. Oh man, peak. Yeah, I was miserable, uh, like health wise. I was like to the point where the, the death didn't really affect me. I think I got hired on Kobe, Kobe's death. Yeah, you did. Did you get a bonus? No, no, man. No, God, no. I was uh, I was either between Fox Sports for an art director role or here. Or it was Met, the Mets an option? Uh, yeah, I interviewed at the Met. I was knocking out all these interviews in New York. And, uh, and I also interviewed at Blizzard, all for like design stuff. And then I uh, was between... Dairy an Queen? <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> no, man, like World of Warcraft. Like Blizzard Gaming. Oh. Uh, was that a gaming company? You played World of Warcraft with us. I didn't know Blizzard was the... the yeah, so, uh, but I, I remember my interview, and uh, I was interviewing, and I said how much Fox Sports offered me, and then um, I was offered 5K less here immediately. <laughs> so, and, power immediately, a power move, and then I took it. Genius. And then I took it. All right, we're going to counter. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, fuck it. It was Dave. He was like, yeah, we'll give you this then. Yeah. And I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, KB, did you see that Freezer Tarps responded to your Zin rant? Yeah, because you texted me and said... I don't know who he is. He said he he remixed my rant. I was like, all right, but let's get some, let's get a cool song. You, you're a Zen three man. Not that's rare. It's rare to find a three man. Uh, it is rare. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't see it. What was it? it? Yeah, play that. So you don't know this guy? I don't. But he messaged you and he said he remixed it. He did well, not message in me. our biology, and we have to go down to three milligrams. No, we <laughs> don't. But. Oh shit. The yeah. only people that are allowed to rip three milli vanilli gum pillies are people that are in nursing homes. Uh, I'm just kidding, New York Times. Chill the fuck out, you little pigeons. If anything, <laughs> I was thinking we go to 12 millis, two sixers, akimbo pillies, top shelf, Tempur-Pedic post-it notes. Buddy, three milli vanillis? I'm going to need one pillow for every fucking tooth to feel anything. Martha Stewie throws in three milli vanillis, and that's totally fine, but I'm not going to be tossing in three guys. Kyle, you're so, getting owned. So yeah. Peep the fucking <laughs> beanie bird on my dome. Might have a hydro flask under there. Shout out the baby Robin Feathies coming in, too. Where we landing, boys? Dusty Divot, someone give me a fucking... Kyle, uh, rest in yeah, peace. Yeah, I guess. I wish oh he would have just called like me a battle pussy. Rap. Yeah, I should've... didn't really like the uh, comedy he employed. But, but no, but he stretched out pussy uh, uh, across yeah. a minute. Yeah, stretched out yeah. pussy. He did. He stretched. He, did. he stretched out pussy. Yeah, that was a he styled pretty. That hard. was a yeah. That was a pretty much a long pussy. That was a real long pussy he gave you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I guess apologize. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm not touching uh, Zen uh, content anymore. I think 
most guys can handle sixes. Uh, I still can't. I still can't. Um, I yeah, I don't know. Are you embarrassed? I am. I feel like now that there's like this league of young men. Who Let's look like, at the comments. So certainly, they're not being mean, right? They say I can't see out on my glasses. Uh, ha ha ha! For frick's sake! No, no one's being mean. Um, listen, you're our boy. If you if you want us to pull up, we'll pull up. No. I, after I saw this verbal beatdown, I don't want... <laughs> I could contact you, Ron. Right, Nick's out. I'm out. I'm on freezer tarp side. <laughs> I don't want to, but if it's you're my boy, so like... Should I come back at him? We no, make, man. <laughs> what do you do? Is there static? Like, what can you do? I don't, I don't like know. A whole thing what's his, what's his style? You know who this is? He's yeah. like a Nelk boy. He, oh, is he? What's his thing? He's like, in the Nelk zin. world. His thing is Zen. He calls... Oh, he's a Zen influencer. Mm -hmm. yes. That's fine. Yeah, I thought he was... Yeah. Him and uh, the Nelk Boys bought Tucker Carlson like the biggest Zin tin of all time. It was like that. was that a shitty gift? Yeah. What are you supposed was to? Was there with Zin that? in that? They just got him the biggest Zin can of all time. Because you can't take it home. No. <laughs> to Tucker. It's like a big tease. <laughs> we gave Tuck Tucker Carlson the biggest yeah. Zin container ever. Fifty-five year old Tucker Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Good you, old Tucky. Oh Tuck. hell yeah, boys. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> <laughs> they brought it on a helicopter. <laughs> but yeah, this is like a different section of the internet here. But he, um, there's not Zen in it, right? I don't think so. So it's just a big circle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's he putting that? Dude, yeah, India needs to you. start getting influencers too. An Indian Mr. Beast would be so funny. Having a bunch of dudes keep a hand on a woman to have her. I <laughs> 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 uh, just, I just oh, I cannot wait for India. India being the number Don't one superpower coming. Up. <laughs> India being the number India one. India becoming more dense with people is ins that's going to be fun. There's nowhere else to go. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are they? They, and they're not building upwards like China. No. So where? What? What is the least like? They have some dense deserts. For, I mean, not deserts. Um, um <laughs> I mean, it's a they huge have deserts country. and they have jungles. Yeah. Probably they'll start coming here. Prop. They're yeah. letting them in. So be it. Mm -hmm. Shout out Maresh. Shout out to Maresh. Is that a yeah? It's our only. My neighbor Kartik. Oh yeah, homie. Oh yeah, I like him. Yeah, good dude. Um, what what do you got, Mook? Anything for us? Yeah, anything got, to show? Got a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't know if you want to get back into the world t-shirts, the lore. But... I'm starting to feel bad, but I did like the Daniel Larson drone video. Oh, Larson's <laughs> on top. I didn't mm -hmm. see the drone Larson's video. blacklisted from the entire town of Golden, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? They are. I. They he's, are. He's they got... are uppity. I will say that they're uppity. Yeah. I don't know what he's he just did, like but going into establishments and like filming them. You're like, yeah, I, I, I can be here. Can we just see? Okay, fuck it. Can we see the Daniel Larson drone video? Do you know who Daniel Larson is? I sent it in the group text. No, he's a um, he's a mentally challenged boy, I guess. Okay, he's um, a menace. He's, he's a menace. He's, though. he's he's a good singer. He's aging like a Labrador. <laughs> okay, no, he's aging like a Bernese Mountain Dog. <laughs> And those things live three years. <laughs> so he's in trouble. Yeah, he's in I trouble. I don't know. Yeah, he, when we, oh, I saw. When you describe him, I guess you should feel bad. He's a, like a homeless. But he's a menace. Porch. Yeah, he's just the biggest asshole. If he was just like a little bit less of an asshole. But I don't know if it's in, like, I don't, it's not his fault, right? I don't know if he's capable. But he, now he's on the wave of the like, guy. I'm a celebrity. So I'm going to go break your signage. You had a verified account? No. Okay, so this guy just hunted him down with a drone. <laughs> the music choices. Song. Yeah, and so he found him and flew a drone just to follow him. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. It's uh, actually, I'm, I'm against this. Don't do this to the poor kid. Well, you, I mean, if you want to not f reverse feeling bad for him, look at it like the dozens of videos of him harassing employees. Yeah, but this is different. Oh, the <laughs> Oh, so he's actually scared. Um, he's hyper paranoid about everything.
Actually, yeah, yeah I think people have lost their humanity a little they bit. Have. So he's unwell. Yes. Oh yeah. He, I don't know. Why I think he's entertaining. His, his music he is great. I think he's funny. He is funny as fuck. <laughs> he's, so, he's funny as fuck. You got to go to his. Uh, you got to dive into his discography. <laughs> oh yeah, then the world. Of I mean, you'll laugh your ass. On a, I mean, world I don't want. I don't want. World of T-shirts isn't anymore. funny. No, what I don't want to give these guys for, anymore. Daniel uh, Larson is a funny dude. <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. I am on the phone with the U.S. government. Um, <laughs> so, the Central Intelligence Agency is going to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a guy! What a guy! Um, what else did I have? I got a bunch of other. Oh yeah, hit, 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 hit me. Uh, Erica's out. Oh yeah, Boss Lady. Yeah. I like Boss Lady a yeah. lot. Yeah, um, she was great. She still is great to me. Yeah, yeah, she. Uh, she really respected uh, what we all did here, which was refreshing. And uh, she just let us do what we wanted to do, which is cool. Nick's, uh, your cooking show finally came out? Oh, Donnie finally dropped my cooking show, but not my first oh, episode. Nice. That's still on ice. Oh, it was a second recording. So I was the pilot. I was the first episode of that. And then he had all these celebrities come on. And he was like, I bumped you, and rightfully so. And then um, he was just like, dude, all those were so good, I can't put yours out. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, all right. And he was like, let's do another, but just be better. I tried yeah. my best. Mm. I tried my best. Um, and Bader, I tried to do some background research into you. Couldn't find much except Ooh. the University of Illinois. Are you a champagne boy? Uh, I went to U of I. Before that, I went to Lincoln College in Lincoln, Illinois. There Lincoln, was... Illinois. What do you know about Lincoln, Illinois? Lincoln, Illinois. Nothing. There, Wait, where's, was... where's Abe from? It was a private two-year school in Lincoln, oh. Illinois, and I had really bad grades in high school. So it was almost like a prep school, but you get college credit. Were you a bad uh, student? Yeah, I was. And then my senior year Wait, of high you got school, college credit for being bad at school? Well, yeah, I went to, it was technically a JUCO, but it was, oh, I see it saying. was a two-year private school. So there's 400 of us that lived on campus, and that was it. Huh. And there was a guy's dorm and a girl's dorm, and you couldn't go there after 11 p.m., like to the girls, or oh, you get was like it ridden a Christian? Out. Uh, no, it was that was Sunni, just the rules. Shia? Yeah. No, it was. I, I was the only Iranian there. I was yeah, the only brown wow. kid there. In really, Lincoln, Illinois, very white town. How did that you explain suck. to your parents? Did you have to spell it out that it wasn't that kind of JUCO? I just <laughs> told my I, I told my parents I'm going to be a doctor. I promise. And my dad's like, we're paying we're yeah. paying so much for this for you to go to 13 kids in one class where you basically pay for your grades. You have to do your homework. And I was like, mm. I will. It was so bad that like. So you when had did you start homework. comedy? Uh, I did comedy when I got to Illinois, and then my dad called me and asked me if I was gay, yeah. and then <laughs> said, "What's oral interp?" I said, "It's this class. Of what happened to finance?" I said, "This class, you read stuff." Wait, your out dad loud. was looking at your schedule. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He and he like I was still scared of him. Like I was yeah. much bigger than my dad, and he was like screaming me. I was so scared, and he said, "I came to this country and I paid for your JUCO." But he would say it in a different way. Yeah, I think yeah. the littler Jew, to Jew. me the yeah, littler yeah, yeah. the Persian the scarier. Yeah, he he's he's five five. Oh uh, no, Zertzis, dude. He was like seven two. Was he Persian? Yeah. Yeah, he got in bodied. The movie, yeah, yeah, he got. He looked, no, he didn't. He won. He killed Leonidas. But um, but like in, in the end, in the end, end, yeah, in the like, end, he got bodied. In the sure. minds of the people, in the people's, mm -hmm. in the yeah, people's in the court. end, we lost. But yeah. no, he was the scariest Persian, I think. Nah, the dude. Sheik, Iron Sheik. Oh, yeah. Rest in Iron peace. Iron Sheik, rest in peace. Very cool. Very awesome guy. He's the man. Yeah. Jabronis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's great. Damn, you guys have a hell of a roster. Yeah, it's quite the culture. Mm -hmm. Wait, but so. So, wait, back, back to like you starting comedy, yeah. though. Like, were you. That's got to be a tough sell. Well, it was just. I just told my dad, I said, I want to do comedy. I want to be an actor. And he just. He literally was laughing on the phone. And he said, how are you- Like gonna, a hateful laugh? No, just like, how are you going to pay for your bills? Like, you don't want to do that. He's mm -hmm. like, it's very hard. Like, you're going to have a hard life, study finance. And then I said, okay. And then I switched to political science without telling him. And I started doing open mics there. And I invited him to a show that we did in my fraternity, like in front of all of these sororities for Make-A-Wish. And I did stand up. And my mom thought I was very funny and wanted me to do it. And then this one guy who's big now, awesome guy, Miles Rabrani, he had me open for him at Northwestern and it was like a thousand Iranians. And I started by swearing, talking about fucking from the ass. <laughs> Nobody laughed. Oh, no. Like oh, there are no. like people, women with head jobs. And like, I'm like, 
and it's my mom's friends no. in the front row. Like you see them and I'm dying, like sweating through my shirt. I left, like I left my hosting set. I didn't know what a hosting set was. I got off stage and I was crying. I was like, Maz, I'm sorry. He's like, Bobak, what happened? I was like, and I'm like purple. And he's like, I'll be right back. And he went and did his 45 minutes and he talked to me afterwards and I quit. And then I started again well, nine years later. You quit stand up and th- for that almost night a decade? Yeah, oh. for a decade. Oh, dude, shit, dude. I mean, that's, that sounds What, what a insane. lesson of perseverance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I quit for 10 years. <laughs> Wait, 10 years? <laughs> dude, yeah. So I was 29 and I like started doing class at Second City and then we started an open mic and then it's been 12 years now. I just, I just like, I was so scared that I like, and I ever since up until last year, Persian audiences, Middle Easterns were my kryptonite. Everyone's like, you well, how do- often do you get like majority Persian audiences? I don't, but ever like this you want was like that. a one of one event. Yeah, it went horribly, horribly but traumatized everyone, you, traumatized. And then this guy Maz, who's my friend, like family friend, but he's an awesome guy. He's my friend, and he would have he's, he'd always call me when he's in town to come open for me. And like one out of five sets were good. Like four mm-hmm. of the sets were zero laughs. So I just, is it too middle? You're both Middle Eastern, yeah. So it draws in comic. that those Persians. Oh, he's so funny. Yeah, like, Netflix specials, like he's awesome, and mm. he would still invite me, like knowing and that I kind of had something, but he just knew that audience scared me. Yeah, my own Your race own, like, scared be, me. Yeah, so because they're so judgmental, you went back to like an eleven year old boy of like, is are they gonna like me? So it's probably made it probably made others. Sn- other sets easier from there on. Oh yeah. Like any, yeah. like, I mean the laugh factory going to New York, like going on the road, doing stuff in front of like full audiences. I was like, Oh, this is easy. But like last year was the first time I did an all Persian show for the Persian new year, March 20th. We'll have a big party here. Yeah, for let's it. do it. Um, we, it was all Iranians and my parents were there and like, they all flew to LA cause they asked me to be on this show and it was like an awesome show. Okay. So like, you got that. I got the monkey off my you, back you got after the, yeah. you got the winners. Yeah. So, get, wow. Yeah. Doing something, probably the one of the most uncomfortable f- events of your life. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, it was top three by uh, far. Yeah. The, but it has its benefits. It's like uh, plunging in the Arctic or rucking through the desert. Yeah. <laughs> or Masogi. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Or I don't know, like, wrestling and getting herpes like it's like it's, it's like you had that was the worst right moment of my life yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah facial it's like, herpes it's up there wrestling getting herpes and then sh- cutting to 133 in the same week jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, 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 that that's hell that's hell that's like that's physical and mental hell but it's not it's there's that's a different type of hell of like shame in front of a large group shame a- shame front, is right. the best way to say it. and like, i'm it's still so terrified much shame. of that yeah yeah because i guess yours wasn't shame i guess fate would you feel shame for having herpes it was on no your face? i didn't even feel shame i was just i was bad hungry bound. yeah yeah mook like have you performed in front of your parents one time yeah my folks are going to be at the pittsburgh shows oh, oh really? really yeah nice you're going to pittsburgh yeah next week you should. You're awesome. That's great. Oh, yeah, thanks, he's man. doing three shows. Dude, yeah. that's I, I I'm gonna like well, you or your friends are telling you, but like you need to keep doing it. Like you're I'm so gonna try. Fun. Um I'm gonna try, I guess. We'll see. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to just it's a fun new hobby and I think it'll improve uh some anxieties I have mm-hmm. and some it'll improve like this job I'd I'd imagine speaking. Yeah. 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 I so think we'll this is like kind of like a gateway to that like it kind of it, it doesn't hurt you like it only helps yeah but it's tough because you don't have the instant reaction of a, of of people in front of you no it's like my first show ever i did with you guys with you uh was in front of 35 people yeah, like and that was way days. scarier than the laugh factory was oh, for sure that was horrifying uh, i told you that sure yeah. yeah way less intimate at the laugh factory it's more like you know you have a full audience yeah and this is a sass show and i feel like they'll be just excited to see little People sasquatch gonna, so they're gonna be pumped to see you too uh, mm-hmm. and mook is like mook's gonna be there too yeah and mook to me like has gotten so much better just from when he arrived in chicago like, yeah from watching him, him and, like, is he on your yeah. comics to watch list he's a, he's on my he's a, my comics have sleep over list yeah sure. oh fuck yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah bader has uh bunk beds in your home? Weird. Yeah, I have adult bunk beds. If you guys ever want to <laughs> no sleep such over. thing, but keep going. <laughs> yeah. no, I guess. Sh- yeah. sh- no, yeah. no. Well, we're adults. Adult bunk beds. So I have. I sent Mook Mo- a picture of them, but I have. Uh, and then my guest room because my niece stays over like once a month. Yeah. And I have bunk beds because I knew she'd like it, and like our toys are in there. So I told Mook, I was like, "You guys should sleep over sometime." I can't get over you saying adult bunk beds. 
It was a, it that's was like saying goal. child condoms. What was my goal? Like, <laughs> dude, it was my goal. Like when we were like, when you're in your twenties and like, you don't want it to end. Like, you're, oh, like yeah. your, your buddies at school, you're like, dude, we'll get a job. We'll get adult bunk beds. Like we just thought it would be funny. Not like we want to all sleep in the same room together. Well, honestly, like we had a sleepover. Yeah, we did. Not yeah. too long ago. How'd that go down? Good. It was a blast. Rudy, you know, there's always the gassy one and Rudy was ripping ass. Rudy was gassy. He, he I was could the, tell the sheets are breaking. He didn't sleep filing. over. No, Be- but I was glad because I said this on the yak. I was farting crazy. Well, no. you were the oh, you were the gas king. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I no, but like, Frazier, listen, Ollie, listen, I would have been a, a fart tat. Was loud. I hate when f- his farts didn't smell like farts. His farts smelled like poop. Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, it does. I yeah. had a roommate like that. Yep. Yeah, your farts were smelling like poop, and I was glad you left. I put. I was just putting down Sour Patch Kids Doritos and IPAs. You 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 left oh, at like two a.m. No, though. Oh man. lord. Yeah. He'd be the guy. I'd say you have to fast two hours before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The, the sleepover was a smashing success. It'll happen yeah. more and more, and we'll get. Mm. W- Maybe maybe we'll have to get bunk beds. It was remarkable. Yeah, I'd love for you guys to use my yeah. place. Yeah. Remarkably therapeutic. Yeah. Yeah. Once a month. And I finally beat Nick in a, in a board game. Yeah, you did. Oh, uh, what board game? Seven Wonders, my own shit. Oh, my God. Wait, I know. And you lost to me and Danny Conrad in... Uh, betrayal at betrayal. the House on the Hill. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a great night for me. And we all won Pandemic. Wow, we played a lot of board games. We did. We played video games. Rudy wouldn't give up the sticks on... We all wanted to play NBA Street or... or uh, Tony Hawk's Underground, and uh, Rudy was playing God of War, which is a very one-player game. Yeah, no, this like is a... this is fake news. <laughs> cool. Also, I was tangled up with the Colossus of Rhodes. That you lost on the, you got killed in the tutorial. That's not true. <laughs> fake yeah, gamer. Did. Yes, That's it is. True. You got killed. In the That's question for true. you guys on sleepovers: When you were growing up, were your parents allowing you to sleep at other people's houses? They were, but they knew I'd call late because I'd get afraid. I went through a year straight of every sleepover. I got afraid. Really? Parents allow mm-hmm. you to sleep over? Yeah, my parents did not let me sleep oh, anywhere. Really? Only people could come over. Because my mom said she watched Oprah, and she's like, if there's a fire, or if the dad or mom is a child molester, mm-hmm. she's like, we can't be One here of the to two. make sure it's okay. <laughs> fire or child molester. So we, I'd always have the sleepovers at my house. She ain't seen a in tornado our coming, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, my. That's tough. Yeah. yeah. I, I, that was the I best my, part. My, my sleepovers at my home were the worst. In my yeah, opinion, I hated hosting. Yeah, I like yeah. To dude, it was so that. sad because imagine you're in seventh grade, like David Novak's seventh grade party, everyone sleeping over, and I had to leave. Yeah, and I'm crying at the bowling oh. alley. Like, come on. Yeah. Oh, you went to the party, but ha- couldn't yeah. sleep over. The best part. The, oh, everyone's oh leaving at the God, bowling alley. The I'm worst. Devastating. The and then you're missing. It. Yeah. Did you guys always have a kid that got naked? Yes. Yeah. Always. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Carter. Matthew Campbell. Ours was. I don't want to say it. RJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, Logan Seidler got naked. He showed his ass, but he never got fully naked. Oh, no, this guy would run after oh, me. Oh, yeah. Dude, we had a kid that we would order pizza, and he would get the door for the pizza delivery driver with just a sock on his dick. Oh, hell yeah. We were in eighth grade. You showed your uh, dick to the delivery man over COVID. I guess I did, yeah. You were real drunk. Uh, yeah, I was real We were having drunk. people over during COVID. Yeah, we ordered Papa John's. We've talked about and, Yeah, okay. For a discount? Yeah. No, no, it was, no. He had his dick out and didn't know the I was on delivery my, guy I was, was on there. my outdoor deck. The guy did not go to the front door. He saw everybody out on the deck, and he walked out this and tied this was June on my deck. <laughs> okay. Does, does that actually, we, I, 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 I don't know why. Of you course, think that's his gonna, dick was like out. Year yeah. or something. Like, June on my deck, dick out. I, 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 yeah, I think like a summer, a summer <laughs> evening on a deck. Yeah, but I was there, man. I've never had my I dick know. out on a deck, dude. I've never got really. Dick deck. I've never got dick know. deck. Something about it. Yeah. You had your dick out. That's, that's so but much like, wood. It, it might be on the delivery man because he went to the deck and he saw us out on the deck and he walked up there instead of the front door. Yeah, it was on. And your dick was out. I could see you getting a splinter on dick deck day. Oh, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> splinter on the dick would be. Maybe oh the no, worst. I can't even. Uh-huh. Yeah, Dude, I don't think I, I've evolved past getting a splinter. I was like rubbing my hands all over the wood. Like, can I still get this? <laughs> really? Thing? It's like no, it's been decades. Can adults not get splinters? <laughs> I think it's been two <laughs> like decades since I got a splinter. Yeah. But you got, make, that like, make that your New Year's resolution. Make that your New Year's resolution to get a splinter. Let me, yeah, I don't. I so, couldn't get one. <laughs> a splinter and getting stung by a bee. Oh yeah, I can't get stung by a bee. No, I just got it. I've never. I, I won't let it happen. <sighs> the only time I got one was when I ran into one. Yeah. I forced the issue. Yeah, it, it was self-defense. It didn't attack you. Yeah. You got bulldozed. Dude, back on sleepovers, I used to call pretending to be sick all the time to get picked up. So one time, in order for me to be allowed to stay over, my parents made me run like a mile to prove I wasn't sick up and down the street. And then I still went home sick. Wait, you were Wait, trying to get out of what? what? No, no, no. I 
I went home sick from so many sleepovers. Oh, age, Nick. Tell us. Uh, fifth grade. Like you faked sick. Yeah, you didn't want to. You didn't want to stay the night. Yes, but your parents. And my parents were, were pissed about it. Your your parents didn't want you to come back home. No, they didn't want to come get me at one in the morning. There is times when I had I didn't want to stay over, and the only communication was through their that family's landline. Yes, so yeah, I had to, to get on the home, landline, yeah. and you had to kind, I don't, of, like, kind like, of whisper like a <sighs> signal, like please, please go. Yeah, <laughs> can I come up? Can I stay the night at? Please go. <laughs> I would just be Farsi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's enough. perfect. Oh, do you know Farsi? Yeah, I'm. Not, I'm not like fluent. Fluent. I have an accent when I talk, but I I can understand it. Who now. else knows nice. Farsi? Mia. I think MIA I don't know any Persian here. celebrities, American celebrities, to be honest. Well, I am uh, trying to be yeah, yeah, yeah. this one. Yeah, yes. let's get there. Yeah. <laughs> Persian American. What about Zertzis? <laughs> no, though. Uh, There's a girl from SNL who is. Uh, oh yeah, she do the I Kim Kardashian. Like she's good. But there's not a lot. Who no. married Nick Jonas? <laughs> Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka, you're right. Priyanka. Yeah, she's Indian. Okay. Or Pakistani. Indian. She's Same 41? Thing. I did not know that. How old's Nick Jonas? My age. 30 or 31. Oh, wow. You Robin never see cradle. it that way. You never see older woman. Whoa. Not enough. Hmm. Ashton Kusher kind yeah, of. Yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to stand him. I stand Priyanka and Nick. With Demi. Brave. 5'6"? Um, Bo Burnham is going up like 15 years. Hmm? I think Bo Burnham. Oh, with um, the France with president. A much older went up girl pretty. from... French president's gay. French prime minister. Wait, Did he come not. out as gay? Mm. Macaroon? Oh, not him. Not him. Oh, yeah. He's probably, if he's French, if you're French, you're gay. No, Mackie mm. is gay because his wife is 25 oh, years older. Oh, she's so yes. much older. Dude, why is she so 25? much older Uh-huh. It makes no sense. And he's like a handsome fucking president, well, the president of France. Like, it doesn't make sense. Well, what about Aaron Taylor Johnson and his scream mask of a wife? <laughs> <laughs> Well, now I don't know who the fuck that is, but <laughs> now I would love to see a picture, I would like to and see I'm going to disagree with Nick emphatically, Please, but I might it. laugh, Let's see because what he said was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, what's going on there? She fucking, uh... Well, look up the Macaroon. Macaroon, the old French president. They too wife. bad. Because oh, she's like 70, on, dude. Come on, yeah, that's wrong. Come that's on, Joan. <laughs> You're in a bad spot. You're in a bad spot. She she like uh, preyed on him when he was like 14. She was just she looks like she a was, she was his director. Counselor. She, she, she was his director in a, of a movie. <laughs> he got the role. That's a great day and come to life, uh, dude. <laughs> that is scary, dude. <laughs> this wife is so fucking cutting. Oh my, that's wrong. And look at him on that Esquire cover. <laughs> it's so cutting, dude. That's Green why men and women can't. Oh, oh dude, damn. fuck this guy, dude. Yeah, I know, dude. I have the same body as him. Do you know? Um, well, and Hugh Jackman, noted gay man, just divorced his wife, and he had a... And she was a hog. Wolverine's yeah. gay? Oh, no. Oh, he's, yes. an, um, he's an architect. What do you mean? That's what all the guys call him. He's an architect. He's, <laughs> he's built her up to satisfy his tastes in women. Which is what? Just uh, feeding? 25 yeah, years he's, older. He's masculine. Out of shape? Wait, wait. Hugh... Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's Hugh Jackman. wife has gotten progressively larger since they met. Oh, Zempic is what she... But I don't think she... That's why there's But that's Zempic. to suit... You? This is wrong, dude. Or is it my thinking Look, of the wrong woman? This is like Odell's. Are you thinking Odell's of uh, Pierce Brosnan's wife? Pierce Brosnan. He's the architect. <laughs> my bad. Pierce Brosnan's the architect. Yeah, I can't keep up with these British guys. One's Australian. Oh, Same thing. Oh. But I, wait, what's going on, Piercey? Is they're calling him an architect? Certainly, that facial hair isn't a gay man. No, she's no, she's stunning. Bad. He loves her. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, cool I'm, with that. I'm I'm going with Jack. Uh, Aaron Taylor that. Johnson got taken advantage of when he was a young boy. By whom? That, that was his director. Who was the? But what was she like? What was? She, hmm. Well, who was she? Who, who was, was she? she? Who was she? <laughs> Is this the scream mask? <laughs> who was she? Yeah, like oh, you don't uh, have your glasses. Did, I, don't, I don't have my glasses. When did they meet? So from this angle, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. Trust me, all you need a picture is old oh, hat. Am I missing <laughs> divots and craters? Dude, who was she? Was yeah, sold. wait, the actor and director met on set. Why does the internet keep going out? Was, what, what is the age they met? Oh, so 18, 18 and 42. Yeah, she, she That's preyed not on right. him. That's dude. Epstein. Who was she? Was so indirectly mean. <laughs> no, uh, who was she? Yeah, like I would never make fun of a woman, but I think she's a predator. And uh, I don't mind saying okay. that she looks like the bottom of a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> She does. She looks like those belts you buy in Mexico it's, for like $7. It's a woven woman. <laughs> the woven belts, yes.
33 and 56. I mean, maybe he loves her, but you don't no, know what love yeah. is when you're 18 and your director, somebody in power. Yeah. Same thing for men and women. Uh, I will say that. Yeah. There's a lot of fucking disgusting dudes with beautiful younger women. Mm, of course. <laughs> you see... Um, I just can't a- think of any examples. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. You know. That's you, way more common. You know. Dua Lipa? Dua Lipa, her ex-boyfriend... Anwar? Anwar Hadid. Hadid yeah. You see what he posted on Instagram? No, what did he do? <laughs> he was sad about the breakup. He looks like an Adams family. What did, Am- what did Anwar posted, Hadid post? Trying trying to not... Hold on, no, go to just his Instagram. <laughs> um, trying to not to find and kill him. Oh, he posted a picture of the guy? What? No, himself. Because she has a new boyfriend. Right, and he, she's somebody from an actor. But Anwar is upset. By Anwar trying to not to find and kill him. <laughs> Damn, that's rough. <laughs> it sounds like Anwar wrote that. Trying to not find and to kill. Damn. I mean, imagine losing Dua Lipa. Yeah. What do you do? You never come back from that. No. Mm-hmm. No. You do a Lipa off a building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only do a Lipa you can do anymore. Uh, it's a leapy do a Lipa. <laughs> yeah, that's Gigi's brother. Yeah. Sounds like Rudy trying to flirt with his Twitch crush. <laughs> <laughs> the Rudy's Twitch viewers don't care about him. It's just it's a chat room. While Rudy plays video games. It's a dating chat room while he plays video yes. games. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. There, there's there's, all, there's yeah. bona fide relationships. You've, you've spawned a few. Imagine like so them having to say how they met. Uh, why, do you say it's it's like, a, why do you say it like that? How'd you guys meet? Uh, there's like this dyslexic guy. <laughs> it sounds like a Shakespeare, and we wa- it we sounds watch like a Shakespeare him, play. We watch him in a gimp suit play <laughs> Tetris. Tell me that's not Shakespeare. <laughs> Tell me that's not modern. Shit. And then we were so, <laughs> and we just we just started fucking. <laughs> yeah, dude. Welcome to the new world, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Rudy's dating camp. Yeah, and they yeah they get after it heavy. Mm. People in Twitch chat rooms might be the horniest people. Um. Yeah. 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 It's up there. It's I can think of some more, but there's also like a scarcity thing going on. You know. Like there's not enough people to fuck each other. No, I think it's like a like in certain cultures they operate on scarcity, and that get, that gets you to like a primal level. Like the caste. System? I'm talking about you guys. Hmm. Oh them. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I get it. No, I think the the women go in there for to find uh, a man that will worship them. Women in chat rooms are looking for a well, man. I mean, they definitely them. have the upper hand in that. Yes. Yeah. But you don't really know. You could be getting catfished. Like you'd be Manti Teo. Have you guys ever gotten catfished? No. No, and it you have to be off phenomenally that dumb. Still try. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be super, super dumb. In a way, you can, like on the dating apps and stuff, because they might not look like what you their photos look like. Yeah. But it's Skinny at least that are, person. I've yeah. never been misled with like. It was always my fear that I'd catfish someone else when I was on the apps in Philly. Yeah, because I had a lot of like friends in my pictures, and I was like, "Just so you know, like I'm the redheaded one." Oh my! Yo, god. nice, oh, that don't was do brutal, that. dude. You I don't actually think. said that. Yeah, a couple. You've times. said just so you know. Oh yeah. my! God. I was like, you know, I have the red hair, right? That's so. Oh, that's why they I know. Like, they women love a like confident that. man like that. Fuck. Well, I don't have any <laughs> solo picks, so it was always like you got to right. Po- Matt, 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 so I I was thinking about that today. What solo picks I have? What would I post? Um. I, I have to go to the dermatologist once a year because I've had uh, fucky moles and I've gotten stuff removed and they had to do a 360 scan of me and I would just love to post that and like <laughs> they could just drag around and see what I they could see what I look like naked from the soles of my feet up. <laughs> Imagine just having that on your profile yeah, and they like, just yeah. drag around your naked body. Yeah, you like gotta you- put on go- goggles to look at your profile. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a loofah on Amazon. You can do a three. You could do the whole 360 scan of me and just spin me around. <laughs> just so you know, this yeah. is me fully. <laughs> like that. Brian See what Kelly. my dick looks like from the top of my head. <laughs> you. you wouldn't be able to see it past my nose. That's fine though. 
Oh man, anything else? Uh, just I had one more housekeeping. KB, uh, your sick day video. You gotta, you gotta keep churning. Yeah, I wanted out. weekly vlog from you. That I was really good. That. The Hulk juice. I need some of that. The, uh, Shrek, Shrek soup, not Hulk oh, juice. Oh yeah, it's a, I, it turns out it's sh it's swamp swamp soup. Swamp, swamp soup. soup. Oh, okay. easy switch. But you I guess like it's interchangeable. So yeah. Yeah. Any update on Very the, good. on the new cat? Uh, we're gonna hold off until after um, traveling in February. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Uh, I'm traveling in uh, April, but then I'm going dog. You're going dog. Reached out to some breeders. Whoa. I support that. Fully. A miniature wiener dog. Good for you. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Do they get smaller? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That Schunzels? Yes. That'll be great. And I think I'm going to name it Nathan. Because he's a hot dog? No. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, Fuck, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to be yeah, clever. I just thought that. it was a like man name. No, don't do Nathan. Fuck, I'm not going to do Nathan I actually name Bob Nathan. I was going to okay. say like, yeah, cool, but no, don't do that. I might do a Chinese name. <laughs> <laughs> Jin Zhao. <laughs> You will be my dinner that one be, day. That would be so funny. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean that either. Yeah. Shit. I just want a traditional Chinese name for my dog. <laughs> no, I don't want a Chinese dog name. I want a Chinese man name for my dog. So look up all the Chinese emperors. I don't names. even know how you Google that. Most popular Chinese names for men. Zhang Wei. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll name him Zhang Wei. Chen. Chen. Zhang Wei. It's a very <laughs> French. Chen the Weaver. Yeah, yeah, that's actually your Chinese name. Yeah, he's a, he's a Chinese French man. Zhang is the most popular Chinese name? That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, also, before we sign off, I want to say, first of all, big shout out to Max P. Oh, yeah. Who is an Anus fan and is in... Uh, it's his birthday today. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Max birthday, P. Max. He Happy sent us a lightsaber Max. for his birthday. Oh, he for his birthday. He sent us a gift. For his That's, birthday. Yeah, he's a, he's a Twitch guy, anus guy. Oh, Max P. Uh, yeah, I think I know him. So thank you, Max P. He sent us other stuff before. Oh, yeah, Max. Yes. Yeah, he sent Happy us a birthday, lot of stuff. Happy birthday, Max. If yeah, you're in the Discord, P. give Max P some, some pussy. Yeah. Yeah. And this lightsaber he gave us is actually insane. We yeah, were, it's so cool. What? No, there's You just turned the volume down. It's way too complex. It is oh, incredible. Wow. Like you can do like moves, like you can do like lightning. It, but it knows when like you do counterclockwise. Yeah, so here, hand it to me. Yeah, Nick knows it better. Sure do. Yeah, this Nick's never how you should deal Nick's with more it. of a Jedi. Sith. It's um, cool as hell. It's actually very impressive. When you move it, it can like read movements and do different sounds for movements. It's a cool lightsaber. Wow. Um but it's tricky. But Rudy turned the volume off, but I know how to turn the volume on. Well, Hold no, down. I have Hold the app. For half a I have the app. You have the app. There's an app. Got it. So, so then, this. no, no. So when I'm getting like, uh, Mook, shoot force lightning at me. Forgot how to do it. No, you um, did it right. It's hard though. Like you. No, I forgot how to do it. it doesn't matter. It's no, like no, wait. Real... Now the color's changing. Fuck. I don't know how to use this. It's like a real lightsaber where like you can't just pull up on it. Like you gotta, you gotta get to know it, dude. No, it's, it's a, fine. It's, it's a real fuck machine. It. It's ruined. Um. Oh fuck. See, yeah, it's hard to wield. Um, Chris, anything uh, to plug? What are your socials? Uh, at Chris Bader Comedy is. Mm. YouTube and Instagram. I appreciate you coming out. You got shows coming yeah, up. Yeah, he's got shows. I've yeah. seen you live. You're fantastic. He is. Other people should see you. Your crowd work goes crazy. Love your crowd. Work. You got a couple of kiss crowd. when yeah. I was there. Yeah, you, went, you. Uh, you went. Yeah. You got a couple of kiss I on their first date. I respected that commitment. That dude was so that. excited. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Bader like murder. The the guy. Yeah. Go see him at the Laugh Factory and at Zany's on uh, on Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. And Mook will be there with me I'll be on Valentine's Day. Absolutely. Come watch us and then subscribe to my YouTube at Chris Bader Comedy. Fantastic. Yes. Will do. Uh, do we want friend of the program? Do we want to do talk about the bonus episode possibly? Oh, um, yeah. I guess this is coming out. We're gonna do. We're we're doing. Um, I like doing the salt burn review. We all did. So every week, if you guys want to submit like a movie or a product or something for us to review, we're gonna do a thirty mm -hmm. to forty minute episode as well. That'll be coming out Friday. Yep. Um, that'll probably be coming out earlier in the week, typically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we're going to do a, a bonus uh, every week of just like a review, a reaction or something like that. So I think yeah. this week, um, I think it'll be the Sydney Sweeney movie. Anyone but you. Anyone but yeah. you. So if you, you guys have seen that, that or if you want to pirate that, whatever, burn it. Mm. I don't know how yeah. that works. Uh, that or Wonka. Or uh, Indian Forrest Gump. Or Indian Forrest Gump would be funny, too. If, uh, where can you get yeah. that online? Can we if if I want the most accessible one online? I would do that. Yeah, we'll do that if we can get that. It's on Netflix. 
All right, it's on there Netflix. we go. Netflix. Let's oh. do a review of Indian Forest Gump yeah. Friday. So it's called Lal Singh Chada. You could just really Google Indian Forest Gump first mm-hmm. result. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> it probably shows up in Netflix too. Yeah. Amazing. All right. God bless. All right, guys. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks Chris. Chris. Love you guys. Love you more.